An aneurysm is actually a defect with one of the arteries, in this case an artery in the brain. It represents a weak area in that artery. Yeah, aneurysm can lead to a very dangerous type of bleeding stroke called subarachnoid hemorrhage. This accounts for about 5% of stroke in the United States. And unfortunately, a large percentage of people who have that can, have, can, can die or can have a permanent disability from it. The web device is a way to treat aneurysms by implanting an implant into the, into the aneurysm itself. And they're especially good for aneurysms that have a certain characteristic where the connection of the aneurysm to the artery is very wide. And those are aneurysms that characteristically are very difficult to treat. And um, in some cases, patients who have that type of aneurysm are not able to be treated at all. And so this new device, which was, improved, which was approved by the FDA only a year ago, gives us a new option to treat patients who have aneurysms of that nature. Well, the device actually looks like a cylinder or sphere. It's made out of a mesh. And using our navigation, we're actually able to, to basically place this device in a restricted form inside the aneurysm itself and then open it. It's sized to the aneurysm so that it fits in there snugly and then once it's in there, it starts to block flow into the aneurysm and then thereafter there's a, a seal that's created by your own body over the neck or the connection of the aneurysm to the artery which kind of walls off the aneurysm permanently. This type of procedure is done by, by people who specialize in treating aneurysms from what we call an endovascular approach or going through the arteries. In the Central Valley, we've, we've, uh, we've done procedures for the first time ever uh, as well in the past uh, really six months. It's worked out well. Um, the procedures we've done, the patients have had good results and, and uh, been pretty happy with the results. So I think any, any option that we have to treat aneurysms before they can bleed or even after they've bled is vital to make sure that people have a good outcome. And so having another tool that we can use that can, especially a tool that can treat aneurysms that were previously difficult to treat, that's always going to be a good thing.